Brick making by humans dates back to around 4000 BCE in Mesopotamia, where sun-dried bricks were first utilized. Over time, various civilizations, including the Indus Valley, Ancient Egypt, China, Greece, and Rome, adopted and adapted brick making techniques. In modern times, mechanized processes and enhanced quality control have made bricks a widely used construction material. The process begins with quarry machines digging into the earth to expose shale to the elements for a couple of years, weakening it for easier processing. At the factory, stone wheels grind the shale into powder. A screen sifts out any pieces needing further grinding, and the resulting powder is mixed with water in a pug mill, creating a thick paste. The paste then undergoes extrusion, as it is forced through a rectangular opening by the extruder, forming a continuous piece known as a slug, containing pins inside that create holes aimed at reducing the weight of the bricks. Simultaneously, the extruder shaves off the crustier top layer, revealing the future face of the brick. With a substantial blade, the cutting apparatus deftly slices through the elongated slug, expertly dividing it into distinct five-foot lengths. Next is the intricate task of stacking the freshly molded bricks. A machine lifts and stacks them. Meanwhile, water within the bricks starts evaporating. To expedite the process, the bricks spend 48 hours in a dryer. Next destination is firing. The kiln, essentially a colossal oven, fires the bricks in a temperature range of 800 to 1100 degrees Celsius, or 1472 to 2012 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the nature of clay and quality of fired brick requirement. After 36 hours in the kiln, a worker conducts a quality check. Weighing and measuring a sample ensures it meets design specifications. Bricks are designed to absorb some water, but not too much, as they need to interact with the wet mortar used by masons. To test absorbency, a worker breaks a brick in half, weighs it before and after soaking it for 24 hours. The weight comparison reveals how much water the brick has absorbed. Once the batch receives approval, the bricks are stacked. Then, they are ready to go to the market. Bricks stand out as one of the most resilient building materials, resisting rot, fading, warping, and density issues found in some alternatives. Moreover, they're energy efficient, absorbing heat to cool houses in summer and retaining warmth in winter. Thank you for watching, and see you in another video.